Hey everyone, it is 2011. Oh my god, it has been such a crazy year. I feel like it has gone by so fast. But um, I've been seeing a lot of best of, favorites, whatever of 2011. So I thought that I would throw in my two cents. So I've got 13 products. I've got some just kind of jumbled together. You'll kind of see what I'm talking about, but I'm trying to keep this short. So anyway, um, this is my favorites of 2011. So I'm going to start with my face products. Um, I know I have just like toiled these into the ground so many times, you know, just kind of told y'all so many times how much I love them, but the Estee Lauder Double Wear Light and Original Foundations is awesome. If you have oily skin that your makeup just kind of slides off after about two or less hours after you apply it, this is the foundation for you. I promise you. It is awesome. They are so long wearing. Um, I've actually had this one since probably February of last year and I still have like that much of it left. So I've still got a good month and a half maybe of foundation. So that is awesome. Um, it's $34. It's a little pricey but whenever you consider how good it's going to make your face look, it's so worth it. It really is. Um, my second product is the Estee Lauder Double Matte Oil Control Pressed Powder. And I use this to just set my foundation. And the, um, the keeping your face matte benefits of the foundation is boosted by this powder. And you can see I've already hit pan on it. So it doesn't last a particularly long time as far as your how long you're going to have it before you run out but as far as the coverage it lasts forever it really lasts a long time I'm so so impressed by these products and um, Estee Lauder has really become one of my top favorite makeup brands here lately so I will continue to use those. I absolutely love them. I highly recommend them. They give great coverage and they last a really long time even in the summer because I tested it out all through the summer and my face hardly shined this summer. So they're awesome. Um, that was kind of like number one slash number two. Number three is the NARS Blush in Sin. And this blush is gorgeous. It's like a berry, kind of a dusty, rosy berry color with gold flecks in it. So whenever you put it on, it's like you get this really pretty glow. And the coverage is buildable, but I find that I really don't need to use much. So this should last me for a while. And it just, it gives you really beautiful glowing skin because it has just that little bit of gold sheen to it so it is absolutely gorgeous. Um, my favorite concealer is the Benefit Erase Paste and I use this strictly under my eye area because I have really bad dark circles and what I like about this is you're going to be able to see that it's kind of got a shimmer-ish look to it so that's um, it's a brightening concealer and that's part of the brightening qualities in it. It's a little pricey, but as the tiny amount that you need, it is so worth it. And it's going to last you a really long time. And I kind of wish they had more colors, but the fair color fits me perfect. So, um, anyway, but, you know, I'm not a really, really fair person. I'm pretty light skinned, so... I don't know. I wish they'd kind of come out with more colors because I can see where it'd be hard to, you know, match your skin perfectly. I got lucky. But anyway, um, it really does work well. Um, sometimes I do have to put on a little bit more than what you would think. But 
it's also in the way you apply it. So, anyway, Benefit Erase Paste, awesome product. Thumbs up. So, that was number four. Number five is an eye product that I recently, recently, recently got. But I have absolutely fallen in love with it. And I knew that if they would have come out with this earlier in the year, it still would have been dubbed a favorite of mine. So it is the Urban Decay Naked 2 palette. And I remember saying whenever I first saw the original Naked palette, I had gotten a Kat Von D Ludwig palette. And I'd gotten so many of these MAC eyeshadows that were a golden toned brown and really warm browns and so I was just thinking you know god they should come out with a palette that has more cool toned browns to it so they answered my prayers they must have heard me because they came out with this and it is gorgeous I've literally used this every single day since I got it and these colors are just absolutely beautiful I love this palette and I love how sturdy it is. I know some users on here do not like the packaging on this. They prefer the original Naked palette packaging. I personally like this because I like to throw my makeup bag into my purse. I like to travel with my makeup just for touch-ups and stuff. So I need this good sturdy packaging to carry my makeup like that and everything. Um, another eye product that I love, I'm going to kind of mold these together because if you watched the last review I did, like the comparison I did, L'Oreal versus Lancome, well guys, I still can't make up my mind which one I like better, so I'm going to say both of them. The L'Oreal Carbon Black Double Extend Mascara is absolutely awesome. Really good black black lashes. And the Hypnos Doll Lashes. Beautiful separation. I love the brush. The brush, I think, is what really makes this mascara unique. It is a super, super black formula. So I love both of those. So I really can't make up my mind. But I love them both. <laughs> and my next product is more eye products. But these are applicators. It's my Sigma Eye Brush Kit. Um, it comes with eight brushes. I only have six right here because I'm not really sure what I did with the other ones. I'm sure they're around here somewhere. But um, these brushes are so soft and I literally use these every time I apply my makeup. And I've washed them several times. I've never had a bristle come out. They're soft. Um, and they are still soft and they are so sturdy so these are really awesome quality brushes for a lot cheaper than MAC brushes so I love Sigma brushes and I probably will never purchase a MAC brush because I love the Sigma ones so much um so that's all of the makeup but I do have some skincare and hair and nails and stuff but first, I want to talk about this EOS lip balm. I love this. This is the only lip balm I've ever had that really does moisturize. I never realized how bad most chapsticks and stuff like that are so waxy and they just sit like right on your lips. So they don't really go in and moisturize. But the EOS, it truly does moisturize your lips. It like soaks in and it moisturizes and it actually lasts a really long time for a lip balm. I was really impressed and I just love this little thing. The packaging is cute. It smells amazing. I have Lemon Drop. They have other, um, they have other scents and stuff. It doesn't taste horrid, but the way that it has improved the quality of my lips is amazing. I have not had chap lips at all so far this winter because of that lip balm. So that is like a holy grail lip balm for me. <laughs> so anyway, I love it. 
And for a makeup remover, I love this Avon Moisture Effective Eye Makeup Remover Lotion. I've had this for a while and it doesn't take much to get your makeup off. Like you can just put a little bit of a, a, little, a little bitty squirt on a cotton pad and just swipe it over like once or twice and your makeup is gone. And for $1.99 for a product that works this good, it's like almost too good to be true. So I highly recommend that lotion. I just can't get comfortable. <laughs> Um, anyway, um, my new little toy is my Clarisonic Mia. I love this. It's the Mia 2. And how cute is the Labyrinth? Oh, God. Um, my mom got this for me for Christmas from QVC because I've used a Sonicare toothbrush and I love my Sonicare toothbrush to pieces. And I've been watching reviews and, you know, thinking, God, I really want a Clarisonic, but I don't want to spend the money on it because they're really expensive. Well, I found this on QVC for a really good deal. It came with your Clarisonic, um, a case, a different brush head. It come, They all come with the sensitive brush head, I believe. But right now I've got the uh, deep pour one, and that came with my Clarisonic and it's got the guards on there and it's got your charger and a small uh, purity made simple from philosophy so I was like dang that is a really good deal and it was like 125 I believe but um, I don't know if you can find these anymore because I know QVC took these off they were airing them around Thanksgiving and that's when my mom ordered mine but as far as cleaning your face, holy freaking grail, <laughs> face cleaning brush. The first time I used it, my face has never felt that clean. So, it is amazing. I mean, it is just one part amazing, one part perfect. I can't say enough about it. And I've barely had it for two weeks, maybe. And I just, ugh. I love this little thing. It is my baby. So, that is awesome. My favorite nail product of the year is the Nails Ink Magnetic Polish in Trafalgar Square. And I am actually wearing it today. Easiest and coolest nail art ever. It is so freaking cool. I love the effect of this. I Every time I wear this, I have gotten compliments on it. It's a little pricey at $16, but it is so awesome. I love this stuff. Um, and it actually lasts a really long time. I've had this on for a little over a week. And granted, I do use a base coat and a top coat, but it's lasted me about a week. And I just have very minimal chips in my nails. But just the nail art itself is so freaking cool. So I love the nail polish. And my last and final products that I've kind of mushed together is um, the one and only Argon Oil shampoo, conditioner, and the Argon Oil itself. So I've kind of meshed like all of the three of these into one. These are the shampoo and conditioner, and this is the oil. And oh my god, my hair has never felt this silky, this healthy. It's never looked this shiny. I have not had split ends like I usually do. Um, it has just dramatically improved the overall health of my hair. So... I can't say enough about it. I believe I did a review on this in a very previous video over my hair care stuff. So um, you can go check that out to see what I really think about it. But um, yeah, I really highly recommend those. So anyway, I guess that is it. Um, I'm really looking forward to the new year and I hope you are too. So thank you so much for watching and be sure to watch for future videos that I will be posting. Um, 
So yeah, thank you again for watching and let me know some of your favorites and everything. So anyway, bye guys.